YouTube channel, Vastu Creations. Ring the bell. Um, you can be notified of new videos that come out each week. Um, thank you for listening. Today we're going to look at uh, Novak's chart. He's number one male tennis player. Been that way for uh, some time. If you look to the eastern horizon when you, he was born, you would see the constellation associated with Sagittarius rising at 22 degrees. Any planet that's within 5 degrees of that 22 degree rising sign like Saturn, like Jupiter, um, has a lot of impact in the chart. So we're going to look and see how these planets are operating in his chart um, and then we'll look at the timing of events in his life and then we'll look at what remedies would be uh, helpful to strengthen the chart, strengthen the planets that may be weak for some reason or another. So in Transformational Vedic Astrology, um, we're using the sidereal zodiac not, uh, and that's the true placement of the planets. If you don't ask an astronomer when he was born where the planets were, he would be using sidereal zodiac, not the western tropical zodiac, which is based on where the planets were a couple thousand years ago. So if you're looking at his birth chart, we look, we, uh, we, um, the multiconus signs, which are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11, take precedence in the chart, and they also indicate what this person is working on in this lifetime. So, um, uh, multicono signs are, you know, many planets rule two signs, like Venus rules Taurus, which is the second sign, and Libra, which is the seventh sign. Now, Venus is, is, uh, signifies relationships, and so does Libra. So, Libra becomes the multicono sign, not Taurus, for Venus. So again, we, we look to see where these multicono signs fall. And if any of them fall in the 6th, 8th, or the 12th house, then the ruler of that particular sign uh, becomes functional malefic along with Rahu and K2. For Sagittarius, you have Cancer, which is the uh, multicono sign ruled by Moon. Moon becomes functional malefic along with Rahu and K2. So that means at some point, and the moon moves through each sign uh, every two and a half days, it can cause some issues, either through aspect or conjunction. So, he is working on Aries ruled by Mars here in the fifth house. He's working on uh, sports, which fifth house has to do with sports. Then he's working on uh, perfecting that sport through research into techniques of tennis and um, you know working out his weaknesses his vulnerabilities through a lot of discipline he's working on Sun which rules Leo this is ninth house good fortune travel a lot of travel working representing governments etc uh, then and he has a lot of belief uh, some belief systems he's working through then we have Virgo a ruled by Mercury in the house of profession. So his profession is definitely connected to Mercury. Mercury sitting in the house of competition, um, so, as well as Sun. And then we have Libra ruled by Venus. Venus is represent. This is the house of income. So you have um, learning about income, and Venus is sitting in the house of sports. Then you have the ninth sign uh, ruling the house, uh, Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is sitting in the house of happiness and home life. So uh, connects his name and fame with um, growth. Jupiter is all about growth. So learning about the growth of his name and fame and uh, physical body. Um, then we have 11th sign of Aquarius ruled by Saturn. Saturn sitting in the 12th house gives him the ability to be attached um, and uh, to be in a zone um, uh, and not you know, pay attention to the screaming fans and 
also hard work and discipline, Saturn. So let's see how these planets are operating in this chart. Sun gives good fortune through uh, organizational skills and leadership abilities sitting in the house of competition and and through travel travel this is the house of travel uh, so he's in competitions all over the world functional malefic moon can cause some challenges sitting in the house of happiness and home life um so um you know these challenges can be can affect his happiness and home home life but if he's uh, helping women in some way and he does this through his uh, charitable organization for uh, early childhood education he's transforming the uh, um, effects of that uh, now moon let's see so uh, let's see, um, Mars is um, ruling this house of sports and it's sitting in the house of partnerships. So it connects Mars, which is sports itself, with partnerships. So being on tennis teams, etc. And it can, ha you know, from time to time, Mars may kind of put some uh, friction in his partnerships. Um, Mercury is at 24 degrees, close to the most effective point. Uh, gives career through its sitting in the house of competition. And Mercury is also has to do with communications and hands. And and then we have Jupiter, health and fame and, and uh, body, uh, giving, um, sitting in the house of happiness. So um, gives uh, health and fame. And then we have Venus, ruling the house of income and social connections and fulfillment of desires. Uh, uh, sitting in the house of sports, giving uh, handsome looks and a great body to be able to be competitive in sports. Uh, then we have Rahu and K2. So they're always balancing something here in this chart, being opposite each other in the fourth and the tenth house, the house of home life and career. It's always about balancing work and home life. Whether you're spending too much time on your career and not paying attention to your home life or vice versa. And uh, so let's look at the timing of events. So he got his first title in 2011 during a Venus period, bringing good income. Then Venus representing the house of income, sitting in the house of sports. Uh, then he had an ankle injury in 2011. 13 during a moon period. So this is accidents and injuries. Moon period. Married in a Rahu period. So desired sitting in the Rahu giving desire for family, starting a family. Then we have he tested positive in, in June of 2020 and then um, December of 2021. COVID. So these were periods where Rahu was afflicting um, Mercury, so causing some issues for his career in the house of health. So natal Rahu. Rahu is afflicting a natal Mercury um, that, that was happening in that December period. Um, then we have a um, uh, muscle tear also in that period uh, uh, of uh, February of 2021. Again, Rahu aff afflicting Mercury. Mercury is um, all about, uh, in this case, would be the legs. So muscle tear in the legs. Then we have uh, this house's accidents and injuries as well. More recently, in 
January, starting around January 6th to when he was actually deported on the 16th. Um, you know, the issues with Australian government not being vaccinated, not telling the truth about having been tested positive for COVID, I think, in December. And uh, so what do we see there? We see Rahu afflicting sun. So sun is government, travel, and uh, it's all happening in this house of delays and setbacks. So... Yeah, definitely shows up in his chart. Um, and this is all, yeah, so travel, government, setbacks. And yeah. So um, what could we do to strengthen the chart? So we would want to transform Rahu at K2. Rahu by helping those who cannot help themselves. K2 by helping more spiritual organizations moon by helping women so he's doing all this through his remedy charity his own charity for early childhood education and then we would want to strengthen the other planets either with gemstones colors or a kavash which we saw on our website lastcreations.com that contains it's a silver locket that contains the devata yantras or in this case, it would be Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Sun, and Mercury, and Mars. Uh, we don't want to strengthen Moon, Rahu, or K2. We don't want to strengthen our challenging planets. So thank you so much for listening. If anybody's interested in getting a reading, you can go to VastuCreations.com under services, under astrological readings, either yearly, three yearly, uh, um, or lifetime, or you can learn uh, under courses of this transformational Vedic astrology um, and become certified if you want, or just learn for fun. So thank you again for listening.